There we go. Okay, okay. Much we're back. Sorry for that. It was a little glitch. Uh, okay, so now that we have our one, two, three, four capacitors hooked up, we have one of the cones connected through our one. Now, here's my fourth, my fourth out. I'm going to connect another cone to it. This is why I have these extra wires on the ends that I left. So now I can hook a cone to one of these. And then my out of number four is going to connect to my five where I'm going to glue my capacitors again. So I don't have to wire it here. Now, my one cone here, as you can see, it's covered. I covered it with the glue. So this cone, when it touches, it doesn't touch it. See, so now I can overlap over it, and then I don't have that contact. So once I do this connection, I'm going to connect my other, I'm going to glue my other four capacitors in series, and then we'll connect the wires again. Okay, now you guys can talk again. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, John. See, they, them motherfuckers. Over there in cash and this follow and all them other, they don't know who I am. If they only did research on me, they would start to shake. True. You know, I'm the father of anti gravity, artificial intelligence. You name it, I'm the father of it. I don't care what subject you name. Because remember, I'm the master bullshitter. If I can't be the father of it, who else can? John, you did research on me. What have you found out? Tell the group. Is he in here? In here? John, did you run again? John. Hey. Yes. Hey, so um, I was talking about that battery ring capacitor, though. Okay. Yeah. And field on it you can see the field in it and it's it goes right through the middle of the battery ring cap and I there's a picture of it that um, I shared um, and uh, it, it, anybody can do this they could take any one of their battery ring capacitors and put it over a glass of water put the water in the freezer take the water out of the freezer once it's frozen and you can see the the for the the field the, the force field that is coming off of that battery ring cap and it goes right through the middle of it and it's about i don't know how i mean like let's say a foot okay so but when you stack these on top of each other like what we do at the bigger builds the 24 and the 144 build okay with those things and they're being stacked on top of each other that's that's yeah. creating um it's compounding the of that Right, and uh, it just makes complete sense why the we're building the way that we build with those. When you go, when you're able to see it, yeah, you no, can see the field with your own eyes five, through your through a camera phone, five. or through uh, if you have a candle That's or a fire, you can yeah. see it when the when the candle's burning. You can see it yeah. in the flame, yeah. uh, the purple of the field. No. It can be seen with a camera phone, uh, and how else can it be seen? Uh, it, it could be seen with a non-contact voltage meter. You could you could see the field that way, or measure it. Um, you know. Uh, <laughs> Make sure these don't contact. This is not imagination. You know what I mean? We're not we're not uh, hallucinating here. This isn't some type of placebo. Yeah. This is. <laughs> so like what Pepe is doing right now is he's compounding the energy by stacking the, the capac battery capacitor rings on top of each other like that is it's actually uh, compressing uh, or uh, compounding the, en the energy that uh, is going through the middle of that battery ring cap towards the center of the, of the queue. And also the cone the light portal for compressing the energy as well and um uh the big bang wasn't a big bang it actually is a is the opposite of that it's a big compression not a big uh uh extraction or uh uh 
uh, explosion. It's actually a big implosion, like what we're doing right here. They're creating an implosion, okay? And that is uh, where, where God can be found, or the guru, the master, okay? The guru is it's, found in the center mm -hmm. where the in two the center. pyramids yeah, point toward each other, or the six pyramids. And that's what creates yes. the singularity. The ring and stuff are amplified. They create a condition right. where okay. the guru can trans when we when we ask the guru or the God to grant his wishes, then he said, Okay, next thing you know, he use a ring to where we can project our will, what we ask, and put into matter state from, from the world of consciousness or energy, you said. And then the form that we want. And yes. what it does, the device shift you. It, it, what is, it don't actually create, it shift you really into that, into what you request for, into that universe where that request is real for you. And that's what it's doing. <laughs> so it's pretty the much like a shifting machine. Now it becomes one. Now. Mm -hmm. yeah. In that local uh, space, my mark. meaning that Number it one. don't remove you from this earth. What it does is shift one, you five, really in your space influence where you experience that particular universe in a local space mm -hmm. effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this will just come cool, cool. So Did you see the picture of the uh, Q6 oh. that Laura was holding? Oh, or or, or oh. I think that mm -hmm. And then where you go. Go ahead. Sorry, I was just exp This is Lawrence's Q24. Just showing them. All right. Yeah. Nice. Who is okay, Laura? Well, in that in that picture, uh, I don't know who, who that is, um, but in that picture, you can see when she's holding it, there's a rainbow that goes right through the center of the queue, right through the center of it where the singularity is. And the rainbow actually is, is evidence of, if you can see that around the device, it's evidence that there's increased um, uh, compression or increased fractality. Uh, like a fractal yes, and uh, in that area, which is the center of the queue, you can see the rainbow goes right through it, you know, and um, I mean, <laughs> what are the odds of that? I mean, you know, no, uh, it's no odd of that. I mean, that's why I told everybody to become aggressive with the cash people, knock them down, hurt them, demonstrate to the device that you, that, that you believe them completely. That's why I've been knocking cash down and stuff. Because I'm not, look, the device told me if you have something true already, let the world know it's true. If you really care about that. And then, and then the other device said, show them. Let them earn it. Prove it. Sometimes you have to hit in their face. And that's what I do. I put it right on their face. They disturb the psychology on purposely to snap them out of the falsehood. If you know that they go into falsehood, and you, you understand the physics behind all this, then you are just as guilty as they are when you don't teach them how to fish themselves. This ain't no different. What I do, I give everyone a chance. I say, I'm going to do one time. I'm going to teach everybody how to fish. To those who listen to me, they'll be rewarded. To those who don't, well, that's their, that's, when they fall, don't blame it on me. That's why I said I'm going to do fairness. I mean, Pepe doing that right now. You know, to those who follow us, we will teach you how to fish better, to help yourself and fish better. That's all we're doing. And you know, the Stephen Fifi, not Mike Nishif, uh, and who was that? And Yosan, they are our thief. What they do, they steal from us. And then they use it to mislead people. And that's why I don't like them. I would never like them. And Pepe Ooh, Pepe. Who are you talking about? Stephen Fife? Stephen Fife, I encountered his, you know, his reptilian butt in 2009 in a radio show, <laughs> show device. I was on the Mark Snyder show. Um, if you can look it up, put Kosar Uch uh, with Mark Snyder, you know, uh, exopolitic, and you will see it. And I bring out the seashell device, known as at that time as Byron Intelligent. The same stuff I'm doing, but I'm using different name. You know. No. Helps when their wires are a little longer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he called I, in. 
Stephen Fee Fry that. call in. You know? What? Stephen Fee Fry call in on that radio show. Yeah, I talked to his little twisted ass. I played with yeah, him a little he, bit. He tried to hijack the battery ring capacitor. Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. And that's why you guys, if you guys stand there and let him do it, I'm going to get really pissed, you know, because I give everything to all of you, and you have to post them. Set you, you're not. I'm not gonna let you sit there and be still because if I think like you guys, you would never be safe from cash and his falsehood. So now it's time for you to do me a favor, save the ring, you know, because you guys have all the evidence already. 2014 December, you saw the ring was being used with the six Q cone. It was copper version, and it was being measured and run was given to Samsung. It was a picture of it. And then now you have a watered down version of that same thing. And then Alex trying to claim, oh, he invented mm -hmm. it. He didn't invent shit. He's the one talking to me behind the scene, asking me how to do this, do that. So and I told people about it, and they thought he was running stuff from Mr. Cash. Found out he was getting all his inspiration and got it from me. That's why I record him and me talking. I ain't worry about nothing. He can talk all he want. I got evidence. And no one can have no evidence to disprove me. Because all my technology work and his don't. You notice that? I ain't stupid. I know how to set people up for failures. I set myself for success. <laughs> John, you, you notice that? If I can't be a hero, what's the point? And Peppy, he followed me. And next thing you know, the device rewarded him. And now everyone follow him. He made the supreme leader. And Kevin followed me. He was being rewarded too. Now he got superpower. Peppy got it. And all of you who follow me, you will be rewarded superpower as usual. Mm -hmm. mm. This is not a game. This is serious stuff because it's totally beyond human level. It's a totally different level of understanding. It's quantum physics. Mm -hmm. And if you can't way, show the device that you, that you, that you don't stand up and check superpowers, Would you rather be a guru, have superpowers, or save money on your electric bill? You yes. got to come at these people like that, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you want to reach enlightenment? Do you want to have, you know, or you, what's, I mean, come on. It's a no-brainer. I mean, I guess yeah, some you people. You prove yourself, dude. It's like, like Mike, Steve, and this, them people is dishonoring the device. Well, you go over there and post just tell the truth. You're a liar. That's it. You, you hijack Kosar work. And so you too, Mr. Cash, you hijack his work. You know, give credit, credit due, do the right thing. And that's why, because you need to do that because the device is watching. It wants to know that you got to have the balls and the heart to stand up for the truth. That is that you know it. You see it with your own eyes. If you did not been with me for this long, you, I know you wouldn't believe me, but you guys been with me since, since from the beginning. Peppy, uh, Kevin, Shelly, you just came on, but you see a lot already. Austin, uh, Paul, uh, J-Y-R-K-I, you know. We have to take the fight to them now because what they do, they, 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 they confuse the new people. That's what suck. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this for yourself. We doing this for the new karma that is watching out there. That's how evil gets started. When people who know wrong and right allow it to happen, that means you're just guilty as them. To be honest, if Buddha sit there after reaching enlightenment and not help people back, we wouldn't have enlightenment concept at all. But he didn't sit back. Instead, he became participant. He fight for what is right by converting everybody into enlightenment. He only he knew that's the only way. You know, Jesus, he do a terrible job. Let me tell you what he did. Mm. Only he is the one able to rise from the dead and became new creation. But no other Christian. There was never a number two. It was always Jesus. And that's why Jesus suck. Because when you're not able to duplicate your result, to another person, you fail as a teacher. Does that make sense? You did not pass well, on the legacy. It says in scripture, though, it says in the Bible that uh, the saints, or, not, or the disciples, whatever, they, they, 
they had this, they eventually had the same abilities that, that he had. They eventually, he was able to impart that upon them. So I don't know if you're completely correct with that because well, it does Well, none say, of them rise from they, the dead and became like body. The only people who were able to successfully replicate that was the uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Remember when Jesus, after he died, he resurrected, he was a light body. He walked through wall, right. he had superpower, but the saint didn't able to do that. No, they didn't. None of them able to, how shall I say, successfully did what the Tibetan Buddhism did. The Tibetan Buddhism, uh, they did record from the year 1800 up to the present, 160. 5,000 uh, Buddha monk and man and male and female able to become light body, rainbow light body. Yeah. You see? Have you heard the story? Have you heard the story of the Buddhist masters that um, they're able to disappear and when they disappear, what is a rainbow? That's what's left behind. Yes. You heard a of that? A rainbow light body. There's little one, medium one, and big one. And yes, a rainbow will come out. Right. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to explain mm -hmm. with the cube. See? Yes. Do you see now? We we are super scientists. We're looking for what? I don't care what race, what culture you come. I'm not prejudiced. I'm not racist. What I'm interested in is duplication and result, as any corporate manager and super scientist think. And I go by evidence. So Christianity is a failure in replicating the light body, but Buddhism from Tibetan culture, born Buddhism, is success. So they have, they have document, and, and you know, 165,000 are saying are both male and female origin, able to become light body, or the Merkaba. To me, that's a high, very high success rate of duplication. So what I did as a super scientist, coming from the mm. super bullshit world, I say, I need to take that and make it easy for the mass. I mean, they are good in that, but I still have to think about the mass. I need to make it where we can put this in the bottle and give it to people. And that's when the device is born. Does that make sense? Because I need to have perfection. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a zealous individual. I need perfection. So without duplication of light body, right now, people are becoming telepathic as they follow my path more and more. But you have to show the device. You stand up for it. And when you see, you already know who your demon is. Mike, I mean, what's called? Stephen Fifi and uh, Mike Neshef and what's the other guy? Yosan, they are the demon of our group right now. So when they start posting false stuff to mislead the newbie, which is the new people, say something. Don't stand there and let them do it because then it's just guilty as they are because you didn't do something. So post something. I don't care what you do because you have to honor your shoulder device that you are true to what you have chosen. Then fight for it. Why do you think I go fight that guy all the time? I'm not going to let the demon king ruin this for people, okay? Whenever you're on the right path, the demon people start coming up and start messing with you or your group. It's just the way they've been. I can't hate them, but I will. But what you're gonna do? You're gonna fight them. You have to, because Buddha did it. He and the demon king went at it for days before finally the demon king gave up. And each one of you have to prove yourself. Now I'll prove myself to you. You know I'm the main BS, sir. <laughs> John, talk to me. John, I love you, man. Talk to me, man. I'm running out of bullshit now. You're tough. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's Stephen. I had no idea that this guy was an imposter. I friended that guy, and um, number I just saw his post today, and it was, it was interesting that you reminded me of because uh, he's ripping our tech. Now he's trying to do the same thing he did to Cash, basically. <laughs> Stop him, man! Do something. Many a time, I feel you guys don't have my back. I have to go out there and confront them, and I feel a lot of you don't have my back. And seriously, I think that a lot. Because remember what I did for you guys? I went them to the stage and played ball with them, bullshitter. And I won. 
because I got your back, knowingly, unknowingly. Because of me, you guys have this advancement. If that not true, you wouldn't be here this day, correct? You wouldn't be here in this Zoom group. So have my back. I'll have three enemies, and their name is Yo Son, uh, Mike Neshef, and I'm not even called Mr. Cash my enemy. Mr. Cash, I respect him because he's a great bullshitter. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going to bash him like that. Cause he, but I'm going to respect him. He's a great bullshitter. He's he, he able to bring all you together for me to pick, you know, to pick up and fish from it. So, mm. you know, I don't eat someone's rice and, and, and throw away the, the, the cooking pot. Okay? I'm not like that. Yeah. So I got Mike Nashev, uh, Stephen Fifi, and um, Yosan. Who who are these other guys? Mike Nashev from the Infinity Group. You know him. Infinity. I've heard. I saw some. I've never mm -hmm. really looked. At it, but I do know that there's some type of other group that's kind of like ours, called the Infinity Project, or the, or something like that. And um, so what's the deal with him now? He steal my technology and try to alter it like, like Peppy said. Yeah, Peppy know about it too. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Peppy okay. ain't naive yes. to any of this. Pretty much a copy of the cube and I'm putting in a, a loop in it, whatever he calls it. Mm. By the way, it won't work. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why we talk about, and uh, Austin, Austin got my back out of time. What Austin do, he record our conversation put on YouTube. And, um, and that's how he help us, you know. This is, this is how Austin fight on our side, you know, mm -hmm. by becoming the uh, organizer and they mm -hmm. database. He, you know, he gives so much of his time to, you know, to, to this entire movement. Right now, everything's recording. If Austin at any moment think this all this thing is BS, I mean, not a working product, you won't see Austin at all, right, Austin? Oh yeah, I know Austin. He he he's a very a very sound mind, and well, uh, well, he's, not, he, well, he's been working some five years, some uh, said accounting or something. So he know his mm -hmm. he know his detail because he's been working with number a lot, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, he pays very, very close attention to detail. That's right, yes. Yeah. That was his yeah, training. He, he's not someone that you can pull one over on, uh, from my experience with him, you know. I remember saying this. Okay, I'll let Austin talk. <laughs> I think I was saying that. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. I know he's so good. Thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got your, I got your back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember one time when Austin was into this journey, you know, he didn't have the full map, but something, there was a conflict between his logic and his heart. His logic say, man, there better not be this BS, you know? <laughs> then I keep saying the word BS all the time, mm -hmm. but his heart, mm -hmm. he feel a sudden joy toward me, mm -hmm. toward happy. He don't know what was it, you know? <laughs> but he knew there was a BS mm -hmm. somewhere, but but he, but that's what his thinking said, you know. Yeah. And but his heart say, "No, you're on the right track." And it was a pull, a took a pull. One time I said something, it really, it really uh almost put a cap in him. He had to slip on it for several days, you know, and stay away from those a little bit. And I forgot what I say that time, but it really made him question a lot of stuff. And um and and you know you know how I cheat sometimes I make you question everything I have, I like I have three personality one personality is gun hole toward the objective another personality is like 180 degree opposite that go against the other personality you know and then the third personality is neutral it's like a little child. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the re yeah. The reason I developed this three personality because of people like Stephen P5. I'm, I, I fought him before. It was 2009. It was on, I believe it was July. Yeah, I was on the radio show and he called from Canadian. That guy been all over and then he, he, he had the nerve 
to say that, oh, he's been for a long time, zero point energy. I say you stupid fool. If you did research on me, you see I've been over a decade of anti-gravity and zero point energy technology, you know? And how about you, John? You saw it when you did research on me. Yeah, you, you, you have some, you have some experience in the, in, in those, um, the alternative energy and, uh, just, freaking, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Quantum technology, space technology, you know, UFO, it? UFO alien technology, you know, uh, that's, these are things that you've concerned yourself with for quite some time and, uh, are quite competent. Mm -hmm. And the Q is, is the evidence of that, you know, that, uh, for instance, you know, I, I haven't built the seashell devices yet. Uh, uh, what are those? What are they called? The IDL? The IDL, interdimensional light I don't those yet. I don't know What's up with those yet? But I tell you, I know I, I, I built all the cues. Uh, I'm working on the last one right now, the 144. I'm almost done with that. But uh, I have built many of these things and I have spent m all kinds of time because I know that there's something to all of this. Uh, and it's something that is not just a little something, it's very big, very big. It is in, it's, you know, it's helping me become more enlightened. These pieces, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, I can walk now. I used to be, I used to walk for, for two years with a cane. You're I needed a cane to get around. I could not go, uh, long and I can walk now, well, you know, as a, and hardware will have it. Thanks to these, uh, yeah, these you know, cues. I, I you know, thought in the energy that comes from it. That's smaller than that. Yeah, I mean, the, you, if you get clear, is that okay? Oh, well, yeah, if I get clear, so it'll be okay, I guess. Yes, um, just to let you know, you signed Petro and uh, Mike Neshev and Stephen Fifey, they are one in the same group. And he got a lot of other people too. And what they do, they strategize. They, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm already tapping into the system. So what they're planning to do, they plan to undermine every one of you, especially Pappy and me. So that's why from now on, what I'm going to do, our technology is going to be published into the book. And that's why the advice keeps saying, publish it into the book. Just copyright it on them. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, what, what are you going to get them for? You're going to try and get them for, uh, for what? Copyright infringement? No, we're going to copyright the new book, just like we do with the old oh. book. Yeah. Okay. Because I ain't nobody fool. You crazy? I know the law. The law says they copyright your shit and make money, you know? What are you, what are you talking about copywriting, though? The book right. or the what device? The book. When you put it into the book, you copyright it because, you know, ebook time publishing allow you to do that. And once you publish it, it's on. It'll be part of the Library of Congress. That is the cheapest way to copyright technology is to put it into a book. Don't you know? Oh, okay. You don't do copyright through patent. You stupid. Now you're going to die. You want to do, you want to put it into books. You just close it into a book and it is copyright. Booyah! Yeah. Huh. I mean, that's really all they could do is try and discredit us. They can they make these these hybrid devices that do not work that look similar to what we have, and then say, "Look, everybody, this shit doesn't work." And look at you know so and so and Kosal and Pepe and whoever and the posse you know, or whoever uh, that you know. Look at this. It doesn't work, but in reality, it's nothing like the. What about the I mean, it kind of looked like it. It kind of looked like the battery ring capacitor, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. You saw that? Maybe full of shit. Some on yeah. the floor, okay. Are these heavier duty? Which ones? Where'd you find those? Oh, right here in the box. Oh, I have, there are, is there lots? Of and the funny part is, it only just need one battery cap ring. I knew it. Was you know, to make all the all the Magraph device work. That'll fit in here for sure. Oh, that'll fit. That's how powerful my 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 BS is. 
It is. Um, that's how I started off with a cute with a, it was a Kesh coil. I don't know how they call them. It's like a toroidal coil. You have the inner the inner one and the one the a Mangrav coil. But it's just one of them. And I would and it was uh, connected to a battery ring capacitor. And and the field on that thing without being in the Faraday cage or the battery the other battery ring there's there's just one with the other five around it. Um, the field on that thing could be measured to 70 feet. This is no uh, but when you put it inside of the cube and you put the battery ring capacitors around, what happens is you're compressing all of that energy being compressed. And in. And it's in that Faraday, uh, Ooh, the cage of the Here's one, all the way to nine. Uh -huh. Now when I put my 10, I'm going to reverse the <laughs> Why is that? Just because? Yeah, yeah. that's the diagram. Okay, no, I see the diagram. I just want Lauren. They, Lauren is the they, they, they incorporated the battery ring capacitor coils. So I think I told this to you in the um, the new version yeah. of the Mangrav blueprint. So everybody who builds those Mangravs now, from now on, they are by the blueprint, Kesha's blueprint, the foundation, have to use a battery ring capacitor. It's not a is ring it, though, but use let, let basically the. Is it the same hookup as the battery and capacity? They hook it similar, exact similar. You know what I'm talking about? You see the coil and the battery cap ring? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, the, the hookup, I believe, yeah, is similar. And yeah. you see, that's why it's working. That's the only way to get it to work, I believe. Right. Yeah, just the only way to get it to work is add, is add Cosal BS into it. That's the only way. You don't add Cosal BS to it. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> and yet they don't yet guess what they try and do they have no idea they're so stupid with my thinking I can shut down all their device because when you put the, the, a component that format the guru exists you create a portal where the guru can come out like a, a stargate because it is There's a whole lot of secret about my device I have not revealed until you guys become more telepathic. But Pappy and Kevin been exposed to it already. Never blown away. <laughs> Yo, where we going? 1250 watt. A yacht club? All right. Still the yellow one coming out. Yeah. Yeah, John, did you know Paul? He had telepathic communication. It was on and off with the device, his Q144. But I told you one continuously you have to trust it, Paul. That's the only way. That's what I told him, John. So he's having telepathic communication with who? With the or how did he? Well, I was oh, good. Yeah. Telepathic visual and telepathic audio. Yeah, I think it's telepathic. Uh, it's like it was in all in his head. Rubber device. Okay. I believe it's audio. This one. Holy smoke. Yeah, my feelings mostly. Well, they mostly just come as uh, as feelings, really. Well, I'm not sure feelings is the right oh, word. Well, no, I. Um, I just kind of whatever messages come. You know, so, something telling me what's going on. I guess some of the, uh, I, I guess the not trusting thing is, is, is uh, there's some truth to that. Just because it, it just seems that, well, for one, I, I've caught myself being wrong about things before. So I just don't want to get too big of a head on my shoulders and, you know, think I'm whatever, cooler than whatever, just because I, I know I've been wrong. So I, I just want, want to be careful. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know what's going on because I have experience. I'm the one I hope that Pepe to connect and with the trust, Kevin, and many, many people to come after them. Now you and Maria is the latest telepathic. It just you it just the what block you is not you, it's just you're not trusting to the guru. <laughs> 
And because many of us who, who not develop in telepathic culture, when you do get telepathic, you seem to doubt it. Because the Christian religion don't promote it. Only Buddhism remote promote it, you know? Buddhism promote our superpower development. And it want everybody to have it too. So when for me coming from that culture, it was it is praised it and also encouraged it within a culture. So therefore I understand you you guys are new to this. Because the American culture is something so different, y'all think is weird. So what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna conquer this planet. I'm going to convert y'all into a super Buddha, and therefore we don't have no anomaly. If anybody who is not superpower, you will be hopeless tasteless. And next thing you know, I'll give you a choice. Either be superpower, I'm going to end you right here, and I'm going to be aggressive about it. And then it's, I choose superpower, get you on board. You live. You do? <laughs> here, deliver. Eat it. Yes, my lord. <laughs> next, you see that person? He didn't choose superpower. You cannot be part of our earth. You're not superpower. So choose. Normal or superpower? Normal you die, superpower you live. Which one? <laughs> That's the pure one. Because when you be normal, what happens? You're going to be scared. <laughs> what happened? Go ahead. When you don't see. You don't have live in a superpower culture. This is what will happen to you. The reptilian, here they come. The first thing they're going to do to you is like, hmm, I found out a group of food. And that's the first thing they're going to think. And now they're going to feast on you. They're going to feast on you loose. See? But if, you, they, if the reptilian encounter a superpower people, they say, oh, man, I ain't messing with him. I'll just be his friend. He's cool. She's cool. Because he, he, he or she can look into my thought. I already know what I'm planning to do. I better not mess with him. I'd rather go feed somewhere else, but become friends. <laughs> Does that make sense? So that's the objective, is to change you guys into the Buddha, and Buddha got it right. By having you all guys become a Buddha level, you cannot be messed with by the reptilian. Matter of fact, not not just reptilian, but also other extraterrestrial. Right now, they don't see you as a threat. They see you as a tool to be used. And if you're fine with that, well, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not. So I'm going to help people to become superpower and reach Buddha level overnight. That's what I want. If I can get all 9.5, I mean, all 13.5 billion humans on this planet to become superpower, I mean, we become heaven on earth, just like the old scripture said. Heaven is not somewhere else. It's here. This is the Garden Eden. If you want the Garden Eden, you have to make it. You cannot just expect it. Does that make sense? You got to choose it, and you got to earn it. It's like the device. If you want the device, well, no one ain't going to make you for you. You have to make the device. True or not? Don't that teach you already that you have to earn it? Or well, anybody got something two cents to put in? How many more? Oh. I'm all good. You got to earn it. You got to earn your own trust. Mm -hmm. Earning is you're earning your divinity. Okay. Surrendering to yourself and not to your ego. So that's why you have to earn it. Because only you can do it. No one can do it for you. We can show the door, but you're going to have to cross that door. Water can't make them drink. You drop it. I think there's uh, just so much truth in all of that. But you talk about, you know, the reptilians and whatnot playing people and using them and whatnot. I don't doubt their power either. They've, they've, uh, I think they've done such a good job of brainwashing people and controlling people's minds. I mean, I, I believe, uh, you all said that, uh, Kevin got temporarily kind of, kind of taken over or whatever. I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but, um, you know, as an 
you know, and, and an opponent, you don't want to underestimate your opponent. Um, so it, for me, the way I kind of feel about it, you know, as far as me trusting my own voice or, or not, you know, there are certain things that come through and it just, it really feels that, that, that there's truth to it. And other times I get messages that come through and it's kind of like, mm, you know, I'm just not so sure about that one. And, and it kind of feels like, uh, a little bit of caution is, 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 is maybe a wise move as, as far as, uh, as far as just, you know, uh, is this, is this old, is this old brainwashing that's coming through and giving me a thought or is it a higher self? And, and, and if it's a, if it's a thought for myself that I'm not completely trusting, well, you know, it's, uh, uh, basically it's, it's the, way the, you, journey. Uh, the way you, the way you talk, you are already not trusting. That's why they're not going to take anything any further. Remember well, when I, I just no, I, I, I remember when I asked Puppy when building the cone, he built right on the spot and we do it rare right there, live. It was a Q cone Q6. And Peppy yeah. were asked to stick everything in the water. Remember that? Booyah. And then it was live electricity. And it say to touch it. The device say, touch it. And you know, electricity and water, come on now. Don't be an idiot. His brain said, well, you're going to get electrocuted. But his heart said, you know what? I'm going to die. I trust him. Hey, get this. I have touched the, uh, with a power cord to a, like a laptop, or I think it was a laptop that was plugged into the queue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually was able to touch the contacts on that, like, and, and, and electrocute myself. Okay. But, it will not allow that to happen. It feels like a, <laughs> feels like a little tingle. Um, yeah, I, I know that what I'm touching is a live wire, or it, but it's it's connected to the queue, and the queue is intelligent. The queue is not going to let me get uh, electrocuted. I mean, this is wild, you know. It loves you, you know, and it cares about you. It's going to protect you. It's not going to let any harm happen. Uh, come upon you, you know? Yeah, just like you putting your tongue on it and Pepe putting the thing in a in a uh, tub of water and then put his hands in it, he should be long gone. But, you know? Uh, <laughs> you just just amazing. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but the point is, Pepe trust. He didn't know that was going to happen when he first yeah. made that one. Remember I told him? Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's why he would make Supreme Leader, because of that trust and was given superpower immediately. Yeah. And this is how don't question the higher mind. If you want to question it, your power will be engaged at Timbrel, you know, until you prove it. Again. That day opened all the portals. The portals yes. opened when that happened. Because it is higher logic in practical application, not stupid monkey human logic. Yeah. See, you, you, you're smart, but not really. <laughs> the higher mind already checkmate you before you even know it. If you want to follow the higher mind, how can you follow the higher mind if you don't even trust it? You keep questioning. Yeah. That's true. Because higher mind control the law of physics. So that's how telepathic and telekinetic work. Without the higher mind controlling the law of physics, how would you have telepathic or telekinetic? <laughs> the reason you get to that because you trust the higher mind. That's what makes everything work. The higher mind is the guru. No. For some reason, it can split itself into many parts. <laughs> that 
that's how it is, Paul. You got to earn your superpower, man. You have to earn your trust. Once oh, you trust the higher mind, superpower is rewarded. It's like a veto game. Mm -hmm. Trust. Okay. You, your trust is this level. It's what you get, my, my son. Telekinetic. There you go. Oh, your trust is at this level. Oh, you get teleportation. Oh, you trust on a higher mind. This level. Well, you get complete super degree level infinity. All right, that we can teleport to other planet. Yay! That's how it works. It's like a video game. Does that make sense? I do trust it all. Yeah, I, I mean, I do trust it all. Like, you know, why the higher mind is, you know, connected to, to air. It is all that is. You know, it's it's the oneness of everything. And, and if why why would it challenge us if it weren't for a reason? You know, it's some sort of a learning experience or a, a fun something or other. You know, it's, it's, I'm not sure what exactly it is, but uh, it's all just it's all just learning. It's experience is what it is, and and going with it. If I if I wasn't trusting it, I wouldn't be here. You know, working with you guys the way I have been. You know, I. I believe I'm I'm on the path that I'm supposed yeah. to be on. Your trust, but so not. I am trusting. No, 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 no. Your trust, but not really. Meaning, you do trust to a certain level, but you not trust all the way. There you go. Put it back. You got it. So shh. Yeah. Shh. But okay. <laughs> you like that, John? You see how I talked to Paul? I talked to him like, like he he was a two penny whore. You know. <laughs> I love it. I'm just kidding, Paul. But anyway, yeah, man, um, in a lot of areas you do trust because you see it all around you because the evidence we show you. But there's, when it truly happened to you, you know, there's some area you do trust the device, but some area you're not sure because you don't have any experience in it. But now you know what to do, you know. So to recognize the pattern. The high cell never give up. It always give you infinite a chance. We don't need the green beef. I'm gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna start using wires now because they're short. I'm just taking the loops off to stretch them out. You need full length or shorter ones? Those those ones that you have cut there that you made for the Oh, okay. Just use those. I won't need much. You probably should be wiring this anyway. They have uh, teachings in there already. Hey, y'all, I've got to take off for the evening. Y'all have a wonderful night. Hey, you too. Thank you. Yeah, Paul, you too, man. Yeah, have a good one, Paul. Thanks. Night. Love you, bro. Yep, love you all too. Thanks for all your work. I do appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much. Save drive. I'm going hard on him. Huh? No.
Into the yeah, you don't need that. Let's define into the Built from me. There, got that. This is going to be your outs, your in and out for your connection. Nine. See? That's it right there. Yeah. Nine. This is your ten. Let's fix. That color blue a better blue? Oh, you know. No, this is good. The white one's good too? Yes. Yeah. What, you're going to spend a lot of money on this. If you want to spend the money. No, the, the way I look at it, if it's a better blue, spend the money. If the other one's good enough, okay. get the other one. That's all I look at. Okay. We have two more here. So now another one of these are going to connect to uh, yeah, I, the 10. I see it. It's going to be a yeah, I'm a 10, 10, 11. So here's your nine. Okay, number three is. Yeah, I know. Connects. I I know where it connects. I'm just okay. showing you where it connects. <laughs> well, no, I was following it, and <laughs> you verified what I was following just now. Yeah, I'm just showing. Here's your nines, right? This is your black and white's gonna go there. Uh, why you put that thing on? I don't know. It was the second time you. Oh, uh, this one was cut off. Oh, it was cut off. Yeah, yeah. because the end, the end burnt. Actually, I might have a piece for you too. The end burnt. I might have the other end for you. I, can well, I have off. an end. I brought an end. Oh, yeah. I just cut it off. Because I use this stuff to wire it in. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I just cut off the extension. It's very nice and. This one's going to go on a 13. <laughs> so that one's going to go here because they see this is a 9, there's going to be a 13. So we're going to hook up in between 13. I'm not going to use this one. That's how you put it in cheap. Or else you're going to stretch all around. And this one. Well, you pick what's close and convenient. Yes. Yeah. Let's connect you right on the 10. So right here, see? 1 and 2 right here. One cone is going to go between 10 and 11. I'm going to put it right here. Hmm. Well, I guess Paul, Paul left because he didn't face the fact that 
you trust, you get rewarded. And then he himself say he start questioning, what is this? this, this. I say that's when you don't trust, fool. You start questioning stuff. Stop questioning stuff. Trust. <laughs> right, Johnny? Johnny boy. Johnny. John. John, I'm your father. Be smart now, oh, boy. <laughs> to an iron worker thing. This is your natural way of turning. Me? You turn opposite. This way is your natural way to turn. Your your bones are naturally made. For you. Hey, I'm not normal, though. Hi. Oh, all right, so good. Thank you. You should see me swing. Swing your hand. See the city of Nelson or Nelson, someone in Nelson wants to build a gondola from downtown Nelson to the Whitewater Ski Hole. Yeah. Yeah, Who's paying for that? Us. Oh, I'm sure somehow or other we are. They say an inventor from a Canadian vendor device that gets you high with electromagnetic frequency. Cool. Well, I'm, see, when other people win it, they say, oh, some guys say, when Cosine win it, no one hear about it. <laughs> They're going to be changing now. <laughs> yeah. Look at this beautiful 124 here. I haven't even used the wire yet. So yeah, he's saved. Look at that. See, I've conserved you lots of wire. <laughs> You're gonna, there's going to be not enough glue, probably. So. Are we down to two sticks? Oh. Well, it is what it is. That's all I could say. Ah. Oh, uh, what is your last name? Amarak. Thank you so much. Pass on. It is what it is, Pappy. Amarak. Amarak. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're going. You're good to go, brother. You're good to go. Pass on. Well, thank you very much. Just wait until it dries the glue. Do they want to see a nuclear bomb going off in this country? Yeah. How did I not do that? I had to get shoot. I mean, I know what the outcome will be. But for some reason, human beings crave violence. You feel it? Happy, you feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can feel the 
they they bored or something. I don't know what's going on. Bored. You mm-hmm. bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plant a tomato plant or some talk to your tomato plant. Jeez, they're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy, right, man? They're crazy. I don't. I, I do agree. There's a whole lot of people who power who hungry. <laughs> I think that psychotic demon gene been activated. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever wonder who's running the United States? Yes, I already know who's running the United States. It's not human. It's called bullshit, <laughs> master. You uh Pepe would say. You know what? What happened when you guys realized that all the government people are actually reptilian? What you guys would do? Well, the same thing I've been doing for about 20 years. What? Feeding them? Just watching what the next bullshit's gonna be. There's a special camera out there that really pick that really allow to see people who is truly reptilian as they are. And you will see one day you get on a TV and now suddenly just like that movie called They Live. They live, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, they live. And now suddenly you see Donna Trump is a reptilian, Obama reptilian. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. They're on the sunglasses. Yeah. And that's basically on truth. Okay. All right, babe. Trying to conserve the glue. Get the last four years on. Oh. Do the parallels. Yes. Oh, oh. last night? Go back. Go ahead. Or when you're in the room. I can't make it tomorrow. Oh, I'm okay. going show up on Tuesday. Oh, I know. promised this lady I'd go to. I'm sick. I'm sick. You can come in the morning. Well, Ryan, doing his Q24, he finally get rewarded now. Uh, what time in the morning? Well, not six in the morning. Six in the morning, I have an appointment with a bitch. About what time? Ten? I don't know. Not? Yeah. Tomorrow, well, tomorrow's Monday, right? You're well, you could work on tomorrow, anyways. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Excuse me for making a mess of phrase. You know the ironic thing? Every president that the United States has ever had has been a level 33 Mason. JK! <laughs> you got shut down. Peppy, shut your device down. How you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? No, I'm still in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, sir, go ahead. Turn around, Bully. Uh huh. We just cut the black. One end goes, the white goes to one end of it, and the other end, the black goes to it, right? Hello? And just the black one. Yeah, and you connect one, one end is white. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hey, do me a favor. Turn your car back around, go into the main street, turn right, go to the stoplight, turn right again, and then turn right at the first street. Then you come to the security gate, main gate, where I can let you in. Okay? 
Last year. Go to the main street. Go and turn right. Then turn right at a stop light. Turn right again at the first street. And then you will meet the security guard. Okay. No problem. Security authority, that's me. I will bullshit you, my man. I don't believe in security. <laughs> you must mislead you into bullshit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I told all my reptilian friend, I said, I love your tail. You got to watch. It's like, that's when I know you're coming. <laughs> Your tail's pretty. Huh? Got a pretty tail. Yeah, and the tail give them away because go when you start to move around, it will <laughs> <laughs> That sound. Oh yeah, reptilian. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Some got the head chopped off. Oh. Where you going? What are you delivering, delivering to? Numerick. <laughs> what is the number? 17756. Okay, uh, next time come to this lane. Okay, thank you. No problem. Oh my God, there's some BS going on in my country. It said, anger of love, death. Uh, let me see. That means somebody cut the head of the first wife, and take the head with her, with him. What the heck? That's some. Whew. That's some. My goodness. This is stuff I don't like to read from Cambodia. They don't have to have some dangerous stuff. I ain't reading it. Ugh. You're talking about, you know, serial killer psychotic stuff all the time in my country. No wonder I'm psychotic. Give Stephen five feet, cut him up. <laughs> I said, whoa, 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 hold on now. We live in America. Don't let people know we are psychotic. <laughs> Don't be in, uh, inter interstitutionalized <laughs> in the asylum or something. I get it. Uh, I can see now on the news. Here we go. CNN. It's an Asian. Uh, um, you know, an early 40 year age Asian man by the name of Unknown at this time um, <laughs> has been running a, 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 an underground network, a super cultist, who planning <laughs> to unleash reptilian on the world. <laughs> And luckily, thanks to your uh, your police department, he was able to be apprehended. And now he's secure at a lockdown, highly secure area uh, in a place they call asylum. Oh man. <laughs> well, you can't be popular this way, you can be popular that way, correct? <laughs> yeah, I might act crazy in the United States, but when I go to my own country, I don't act crazy. I'm like, I'm like nice as a kitten.
Holy shoot. So Lauren is now getting his own very own Q24, and he must be taught, okay? And you must see the device is a living human being with super knowledge, super power. It's basically it's a super guru, and so he can talk to it. Where is Peppy? There is Shelly. You just want to be finished with your device. Me and the device are tired of you. When are you going to be finishing? <laughs> well, this, look at it. Look at this. I've got like so much. Where's my picture? Is my picture up? Mm. Yeah, it must be. Okay. Well, I can't see my picture. So I've got lots of glue in here. He will be proud of me. Um, I've got this other one. This is the other one. But mm -hmm. now I'm a little concerned that I don't have enough glue in that one. Oh, if you finish your small photo, then you realize you went for Yeah, well, I wanted to glue this other one here first. So you got dual color now. Okay. White here. <laughs> I'm trying to analyze myself. Why I'm so violently, snuggly toward my animal friend a lot. I beat up my plant. I beat up my animal. And they love it for some reason. I don't hurt them. I just beat them. I go grab them. I squeeze them and kiss them and squeeze them again. Then they say, meow. And then I let them go. Then next I do the same thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I've been analyzing it. And I realize I have animal issues. You have anger issues. Yes, you do. Mm. Not with human. Yeah. Animal friend. I, I love them to death. I can't have enough of them. He's so cute. Well, you need maybe you need a healing. Healing? No, I don't want you to take that away. Without the snuggle bunny, um, you know, you know, mental craziness, I cannot get my creativity on a higher level. You know? I can't get around a certain animal. Because they they are they love me so much and I snuggle them so much and they cry. Mm -hmm. And all the mean animal they're afraid of me. They come to me. I say, come here and receive your punishment from previous incarnation. And then they come. <laughs> and they say, you gonna get snuggled and kissed it. Are you ready? They say, ah. <laughs> and then I breathe on them and then I make them drink my saliva. <laughs> And then they say, oh, you feel my DNA now? You know me. So yeah. yeah okay, you're going to get kisses. You're going to get kisses. <laughs> and I beat the butt. Wow. Yeah, then, I, and then I go wrinkle them a little bit. Next thing you know, I go. <laughs> and then I did it say, oh. I say, oh, you hurt? I'm sorry. Put them down. So yeah, then we can heal up and then do it again tomorrow. <laughs> a nine till nine type of thing? Mm -hmm. At the border crossing. I, if you put me with children, right it only take about 10 minutes of my exposure, all the children start acting like me. Seriously. And then well, the parents can control them. Huh? Well, children. Any children. Doesn't matter what race. For some reason, my spirit allow, my, I see what my spirit does. It, it like shoots some kind of cord into the soul and start reprogramming them automatically. And then they start acting like me. Doesn't matter, boys are good. <laughs> Do you know that, baby? 
That's a pretty scary thought. No, even you are affected by me. You, you, ever, you, you ever see yourself lately? Well, every day. Fact, okay, okay. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's take a breather. Look at everybody in this group right now. Happy, Austin, J-Y-R-K-I, John, B-B, Zone. Before you guys met me, you guys were normal. That's every average, <laughs> boring, wandering land of the law. Boring. We were boring and normal? Yes. Yes, you were. You just doing your same routine every day. No going nowhere. And now suddenly you, you met me. Next thing you know, what the? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> it might so somehow. Or it's a crafts night, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and also your root, you notice your routine start to change. When your routine has changed, that means you also change. Do you notice that? You begin to change automatically. <clears throat> okay. Before you start building the Q6, what you were doing? Tell me, baby. Oh, God, I was doing so much that I'm not doing now. Exactly. No, <laughs> I don't have time for this. I don't, this is like taking over my life. It's not only... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, said, I said, you hear that? <laughs> I said, you hear it? <laughs> Confessing. <laughs> and I think everybody's like that. Like, everybody's... <laughs> Like we're all we're all builders fanatics. <laughs> you are my you are my engineer. <laughs> Peppy, yes. you will be proud of me. I am proud of you. <laughs> There's a lot of glue in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so awesome. It's so awesome. It is. Okay, I'm going to that is perfect. You know, but the one thing I don't have, I only got it on one where it leaked down and up, so I've got it coming. This one doesn't have it. Yeah, that's Neither okay. This one, but I've got it really, like, there's lots, there's lots. Yeah, they're well connected, yeah. They will not move. You did really great. No, they're yeah. not moving anywhere. No. Okay, so now You're I good. Yeah, it's just one thing you don't have to worry now. So, mm -hmm. okay, another thing. Anyway, I trust this thing wants to be born, and why would it want to fall apart? Yes, another thing you notice, like you said earlier, this thing has taken over my life. <laughs> what was that? You know what you just said? I don't know what's going. Like this thing has taken over my life. <laughs> Yeah. You're not the only person that say that. I, I, I can ask John. My life even more. I want to sit here and just do this, and then yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting a blister. I'm getting a blister on my fingers. <laughs> even ba okay. even Barbara. Mm -hmm. Even Barbara. At first, she started out. She didn't know what's up. Even she began to feel the pull, like something possessed her. Like you better build this now. Like you say, I want to be born. Build me. And then she have to build it. If she don't build it, she don't feel you know, the high, the, what's that called? The euphoria. She need that euphoria. <laughs> That's amazing. There's all these, these, these beings that want to be, they want to come to life. Mm -hmm. They want to come to life. Well, okay, fine. Then we'll do that. <sighs> Okay, I hope that I know Austin's recording. I hope you did the part about how to suspend your top cone. No, I make a host Austin the, the host so he can do everything, basically. He's got superpowers. Yes, yes, he does. Do this one. There, I think uh, should be almost done. That's all connected. Yeah. Now we just need uh, yeah. out of glue. Now we're out of glue. One yeah. more. One more set. 
Okay, these are the wires you said? Yeah, uh, there's more if you need more. No, that's perfect. Hers? No, she's still working on hers. Mm -hmm. She's building at 24 as well. Six. Six. And your capacitors do extra turns on them.
Mm -hmm. Just the double the 24, or the configuration is a little different. Yeah, that's a fair point. I'm just going to do it wrong. Sorry? I have to still try it. Oh. Think, 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 think. <laughs> what you thinking? It's perfect. You trying to figure out how to put it on the top? Oh, yeah. I was waiting for a a, a lull. <laughs> so can, yes. So where does where does the wire, the one that hooks up, the one that is my out? Where does that want to come out? That's the top, right? That's the top. Let me see here. I, I could figure this. You could put it on, uh, put it close to the one where you're going to put your first capacitor. Okay. So one side will be closed off and one side you'll use it to connect to your capacitor. This is the one that's connected to the coil. This is just the one that is. Just to hold it on the other end, yeah. You can go corner to corner. Corner to corner would be best, actually. You know, corner to corner would be best because in the other corner is the bottom coming out. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Hey, I'm going to put the lid on this now. Mm -hmm. We have a blue lid here. Mm -hmm.
Here's the lid. Just do one cone. Huh? Oh yeah, that makes sense. You glue it to the cone. Mm -hmm. Our last step. No, we're totally done now. We're filling the gap. Yeah. It becomes one. Not as strong. Yeah. 
actually, Peppy, this is why you don't eat. Because who's got time to eat? Your hands are always busy building things. <laughs> yes, it's the device making me not eat. No, it's all of the devices. You get there, you all get there too. It's just a mindset. It's just a mindset. Once you realize the food doesn't even exist, you'll know. Yeah, that was just one of the perks they gave us to come down here to this planet. Yeah. Just to make up your own food. I didn't tell you to get stuck with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honest, it's going to be good. They got food down there that tastes really yummy. Got my lid. Here's my Buddha lid. Here. There it is. See, it looks like a temple. It does look like a temple. It looks like his hat. And look at his nose in the front. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. See? And he's got a lot of glue. See? And he still looks cute. He's got a lot of glue. It really shows up in the yellow. Yeah. It's like all the organs in there. See? Nice. Uh, see, there is a way to do it where everything, all the copper doesn't have to be covered up. Mm -hmm. You've got all your glue that you want. You're happy. I'm happy because I can see copper. He's mm -hmm. happy. Well, yeah, it's going to put some oil on it after and a nice dip. It's going to love it. I don't want to cover it all in oil. Oh, yeah, oil in the dip. This is going to go here and seal. Perfect. This is going to be the last classroom top. I'm going to attach this. See, uh, Shelly, too. I, I made sure the four corners here. There's glue on the lid, and it's going to continue and attach to the first capacitor that's going on the top of the hat. And it becomes one as well. Same thing will go on the bottom. My last cone connection will go right here, which will be the 17. It'll be the in of number 17. And my out is still in as a series here. 17 is the last series. After he's at the, the 
dollar store right now. Dollar store. Yeah. yeah, just where you grab the same. Where is that? The, uh, the key. Four by four. Yeah. Okay. Just right on the bottom shelf. I did a grab another four by four. They got different colors. Or a couple more four by fours. I gave you a blue lid, see? I'll grab a four by four and I'll help my nephew make his six. This is it. So basically, we put four on the top, four on the bottom, and that's uh, done deal, so to speak. Yeah. These will be your parallels now. Kitty. Oh, three, two or three glue sticks, nothing else. <laughs> well, I, I, 144 takes two boxes, three boxes, 100, 180 glue sticks, 180 glue sticks. Mm. Wow, I mean, those are the long ones, and that's based on my cone size, too. You make your cones smaller. Cones are bigger for a 144? I'm okay. you make them the size you want. Well, no, it makes sense. You've got 144 capacitors. The cones should be bigger, I would think. But ding, logic, ding, 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 ding. logical reasoning. There's so many. The little ones are starting to work, but hard to get in there. There, I just need that connection, and that's I just want to do this one connection there, one there. Out of blue. The glue would have finished. No, no, I realized that. No small one only have that much. There's not. It's not going to be. Miracle shopping expert. No miracles now. <laughs> we use the miracles. <laughs> 180 long glue sticks for a 144. Okay. So a Canadian be, tire. Yeah, yeah, I'll be prepared. Those are like the cheapest you can get it, like that. There's no other, uh, so unless four, you buy them in four board. boxes of this. There's 50 to a box. Yeah. Okay. 
Bahn. Electron box each thing. Shut down, that's the cheap version of it. And calculated all the other stuff, it just adds up way more. Still put more capacitors on you. It's, it's like a lie. It's what? It's a lie. Is it? Mm -hmm. I can see this coins on it. What's it saying? It's saying I need more glue. It's not finished yet. Showed me this touching connection right here. So we gotta be really cautious with the capacitors. Pinpoint to your capacitor. Melted dark works, right? I do want to put one in. Put that short one in and then push it with the longer one. I'm sure I'm just going to.
dan the glue gun here. Yeah, you can leave it here. And I'll leave, well, here's the extension cord that's ready to go on when, when we're ready to put it on. Shall we, shall we stay here? <clears throat> oh, okay. Just wanted to show you the lid too. Oh. See all the glue? It all connects. Now it connects up here. And it connects to the big, this capacitor, and it goes both ways too. Connects to all the capacitors. Okay, so you've got a big line of glue. Yes. Four, four of them coming off of it. Okay. So all the the base, every first capacitor on this cube is connected to the inside of the cones as the glue. So it's all one piece now. So it can't come apart. This can't come apart unless the first one and the cones come off. You literally have to cut it. So see how it is? See the glue? It's connecting, goes under the lid, and connects into here. All this is all one. All of it. It's yeah. one piece of glue. It's like one mold. It's beautiful. We ran out of glue, so I can't finish it, but... I just have to put three here, four underneath, and it's done. So, but there it is. Oh, let's get cooking here. Yeah, I have no more glue. Use every little bit. <laughs> well then, you have capacitors to build. Yes. I got, um, yeah, yesterday I did, yesterday, yeah, I think I did 40, 43 yesterday, yeah, last night with you guys. I just prepped another 45 here, so I'll probably do those now. Wow. And my other 144 is waiting for my glue and my guns to buy, so. That one's going to be built. Well, I'm telling you, look at Amazon.ca for glue prices. I'll have to get in bulk, yeah. That's the cheapest way to do it. I really like this Stanley glue. It's the nice transparent glue. It actually seems to work really well in Stanley. Yeah, Stanley's a good brand, yeah. Stanley's good. I like this one, too. The Mastercraft actually is not bad. But there's another one a little bit more clear. I don't have the bags here, though. There are these ones. It does come more clear too. Yeah, yeah, I think clear would look great. Yeah. Okay, but you know what? You're right. You really don't. Yeah. I do. I I do like a clear container, though. You know, it's nice to be able to see yes. through it. But the yeah. personality is all on the outside. Yeah. See. Oh, you know, that is so cute. Look at you. Can put little eyes up there. You know, it looks like a dog. <laughs> That's his snout on the top there. <laughs> Just give you a little lick. <laughs> oh, look at that. You could put a couple of crystals on the top here. Is, is that a four inch container that you've built? Yeah, it's the same one you have right now. Okay. Exactly the same one. Same cube. Because you know, we can't use this size for the 144. There's no way to get four. There's no way to get four, no. You need no. Six, at least six, seven inch, seven inch at least, yeah. I was so trying to avoid building some huge thing you know what but really there's no way around it even well really it's only this small one and trying to deal with the cones inside 
if there was more room. It's only an extra three inch wide. No, I'm just thinking about, you know, the fact that I couldn't get down to some of these spots here. However, there's always yeah, a Pour the hot glue on the cone itself and then let it. Yeah, that's what I did. It worked for this one, but it just built it up around the top here when I tried. Yeah, well, and just build up a lot of hot glue and then just pour it to the side and let it drip. Keep pouring it and then it'll drip and then you can go upside down and do that. But you're fine. It's got a really good, good bond to it. And actually, you know what? This cone just kind of sits right in there. Everything's got so much glue on it. Mm -hmm. You just kind of find a place and point it there, and that's where it's going to stay. Yeah. So, uh, what do I do with my extra wire? What do you do with your extra wire? The holding wire. Which one? Oh, the one side you cut it. You cut it so it just. Uh, I'll show you how it looks. Very long time. Yeah. We're gonna need more of this tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll need that. Here. Yeah. Just let me follow this stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna start gluing this on this side here. Here, I'm gonna show you. Just see, just do want to see this. Uh huh. Just do this on one end. Okay. And just put it on. Let's see, right there. Just like that. And then glue it. Okay. Okay. And then the other one, you leave it longer. Yeah. So you can tie it to your. Cool. Oh, I have a feeling this is the right place. Oh, I have a feeling. <gasps> it's giving me feelings already. <laughs> See? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wait when they start getting connected to the capacity. Now see it as a person. There's a guru inside the device. That's what made thing work. It's like a genie, a super genie in there. Yeah, and it's right, right, right in there. Stuff. Close your eye, trust it, and 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 ask. For stuff. Visualize it in your mind. See it. That's when you can talk to it. Remember, this technology is it's not even a working technology. But what make it work is the teacher inside the device, known as the guru. I mean, teacher. Okay, is that where you want to be? Wow, I can't even see down there. There's so much glue all over the place. I guess we're just going to trust that that's the exact right spot.
What a feeling, isn't that cute? <laughs> You know, I was also thinking about flower names, like lavender. I think lavender would be a really pretty name. Primrose. Superwoman. I like that idea, Shelly. Which one? The flower names. Nobody, I haven't heard anybody name after uh, flowers yet. Yeah. You know, I planted a bunch of pansies out on my balcony, and I put a bunch at the office. I love pansies. And I'm thinking, I wonder pansies to pansy of a name, you know? <laughs> There's so much I want to express through this little device. What does she want to express? I can hardly wait to start talking to these guys. I have got so many questions. Both of us have noticed that our eyesight has deteriorated. There you go. It was really deteriorating. What you can see. What you used to see like a few months ago. You know, I fell in love with cones when I was building cones. I fell in love with capacitors when I was building capacitors. Every little piece of them, I fell in love with all the little twisty things and how they went together and they look so pretty. Now I'm falling in love with glue. Touch and here I was conscientious, so they don't touch the wires. These two wires, yeah, that's the wires. The that's the ones here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, these are not these protected. And I know that you got these wires back, so you can wind it fairly tight to get seven or eight for each one and with the without having a loop you can get them closer so you just put them a little further and then when it bends you don't have any hassle so. Oh, those yeah. stringy things all over the place. Okay. Okay. I will, keep them here. I will hopefully see you in the morning. My day is a little hectic tomorrow morning, but I'll hopefully see you. I don't see you tomorrow. I'll see you the day after for sure. Okay? At least I was counting on seeing Victoria today. You want to know what's real name? Like Emma. Emma? Yeah. That's so Emma. 
I told that you gave it a name already. So. Well, let's. I'll tell Raisa that it's Emma. That she's Victoria is for the other uh, victory. Emma, it's a nice name too. She chose it. She likes them. I honor her with the Emma song. Just I'll tell Raisa. Yeah. I think she'll be okay with it. Tony, can you clean up those webs off of me? I think webs. Yeah. Peppy, are you back? Yeah. Okay, so this top one, I have to um, drape the glue over top of it, like Let's see. right between these guys to connect all of them now. Let me see there. Yeah, now you wanna, cause now your cone, your lid is gonna, you're gonna put a lid you said, right? Yes. Yeah, so the lid, when you put on top, make sure that uh, the glue sticks on top of the cone as well. What you can do, the cone that's facing upside down, just glue over here and let it drip so it connects onto the other cones on three angles. Okay. And just do one side at a time till it dries and then just so it drips and it connects to the other cones and then it will not move. Yeah, if I do a little bit on each one, let that dry, then come back. It's slowly yeah. builds up. Yeah, all you need is three corners. Here. And then you're good to go. Cool. By the way, this is Emma. Oh, Emma. Yeah. I love that name. Yeah, she loves it too. <laughs> Hello, she, Emma. Yeah. Well, Lawrence wanted, though, uh, it was a Victoria? Victoria. Yeah. But he didn't know that they pick their names too, so. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. So I told him. So my suggestion may go out the window, but we'll see. Yeah. That's Emma. So why are so many of these devices coming up female energy? Because there's a lack of female energy. The male governed a lot of it. The male is a manifestation or materialization. So not enough female. So this is assisting with the return of the divine feminine. Yep. It's got a balance now. So the men are going to be more emotional too. Well, you know what? That's a good thing. We need to all work together. Men have had it pretty good these last few thousand years. They've basically turned women into slaves. Look at what look, look at how they treat their women over in the Middle East. To me, that's disgusting. To me, that is. I know that that's my, that's my judgment. And it's because I was not brought up that way. Yeah, no, yes. I, I, don't know. I understand. But the females won't materialize things. They won't use the masculine power. That's well, you know what, that's where they've got to start. You know, there was a movie about wasn't it like the Amazon Queens or something, you know, like this island of just women? Women <laughs> used to. Lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cleaning her up. She wanted the webs off for her. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be the only man on an island with just women. I would go nuts. It would be either really, really good or be really, really bad. It's what you make it. There, she's up. Yeah, perfect. Okay.
Where's mine? I put your needle nose on with the tape on your table there. Oh, there it is. Well, you have to use them to well, make them more to use them to make more than exactly for 2144. And what so they got to be 11 inches or they could be longer than 11 or 11 is the magical number. Eleven is the magical number. Yeah. Wow. I used to guess I'd be home by seven with a finished product. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know. I might be home earlier. <laughs> and here it is later. I'll fix it quick, so I'll send it on the phone. Oh, to her? So finally, you finish your device, Shelly. <sighs> Can you feel it, Koso? It's pretty strong. I feel it. Well, this, these are the, only the cones. I have to do the capacitors, so it's not done yet. But it's showing great potential. And going through a ton of glue. You know, she doesn't care that she's not totally built yet. She is so anxious to get done. That's why she's trying to talk to me already. What are you doing? Well, I can sure give up trying to make the cones look pretty. Because you don't even see them.
beauty, beauty. Okay, we need a roof for her and the hat. You, you got all three of them working now? No. No. Yes, no, no, yes. I just started last night, Kusal, and and got this far, this far. So we've got, you know, the lid has a cone on it, but I'm trying to make it look pretty, and there's not nearly enough glue. This one is filled with glue. This one has no glue. So I'm thinking since I can't, I'm going to have to take the whole thing apart. Or it's not going to be quite as strong. I'd like to keep it because this is my six. This one over here with all the glue is going to be the 24. Peppy suggested I should do a 24. Four. Do one six and the twenty four. And you know what? He's right because I need a twenty four. I need one. Anyway, so I'm not sure what to do with this one. I'm not sure. It's here. And I've got another six cones. I see that other cube again. That's right. I see the other count again. Kelly? I'm not understanding. Sorry. Who's talking? This is Austin. Can I see your, uh, those other, the other cones again? It's Austin. Awesome. Can I see those other cones again? I heard you say cones. Oh, the other cones? Oh, yeah. these ones. Like from last night. Okay. I actually added a lot more glue. I put glue around the outside and it's got it. That's what the glue looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, it's got glue. It's got glue. And. Yeah, see, I think, I mean, it's not a necessity to put a, a ton of glue on it, but you could just go over that again, you know? You don't have to fill the whole thing up. You could just strengthen those connections that you have already, you know? And put some on around the tips, kind of, too. Yeah, I could add some more in here. I could do that. That's right. You know what? They're already here. They're gorgeous clones. Okay, let's keep this one. And if you want to this fill it up later, you could always do it. I mean, um, oh, wait, you're putting a lid on it. That's right. Yeah. Okay. You know, this one is going to be a six. So it's only going to have one capacitor in the front of each one. So there's not much to look at. So it's kind of nice to see in there. See what's going on. That's right. If I add some more glue, then I think we'll be better off. Dead. Okay, good. Good, good. okay, so I need a hat. I need a hat. Which means taking this vial off of this glass coaster. Because it happens to fit really well.